I finished dry locking all my uh, pillars. Now I'm going on to putting black in the grout lines to make them stand out more. As you can see there, there's my established 2008 sign. As if you're standing far away, you can tell the difference. Like those don't stand out as much as those. Now when I finish with that, I'll set them up in the yard and then I'll go back and drip some wa black water down, like water down paint and just drip it so it looks like it's a weathered effect. Another update. Started putting them outside. As you can kind of see. I only did like diagonal because uh, I'm going to have like a little walk away through. I'm going to do that side tomorrow. So I got two thirds of it done. Not done done but put out and then this side also. can't really see but there it'd be better in the daylight I can show you tomorrow but I'm gonna cut the tops and stagger them like tall, medium, small, medium, tall, and like that. Then I'll put the mini skulls. If, my, if you saw my other video, like I was deciding, but I decided on the mini ones. And then maybe next year I can cut these down to make like a uh, point to the mini skull but yeah I don't know yet but this year I'm gonna use the mini skulls because of time and yep there it is so far here's uh, build days day one added some uh, weathering to the established 2008 sign I'm going to add a topper today, tonight, because it's supposed to rain, so, like uh, Steve's Haunted Yard did, where he added a topper to the pillars, I'm going to do the same thing, thanks to him, 
Thanks for the idea. And now, um, other side. A sign is going there, so I'll be covered up. There's two se two sections of this. They're like di triangle type things. There's one over there and here. Go through. And that's build day one, set up day one, whatever.